How would you like some peanut butter with that jelly sandwich? Mother f- Hey, oh, it's the Chris Card Show. Hey, oh, it's- This show is brought to you by... Hello and welcome back to the Chris Court Show. There is a dog coming flying here, and that's unexpected. I'm trying to hold the table <laughs> down. <laughs> oh, uh, hi. Sounded like Shaggy, <laughs> and that's Scooby. Oh, it's like it. There wasn't me. Yeah. That that Shaggy? No, 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 no. Not, no not Shaggy. Ba, da, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. That and one. And I caught her in the corner. Mm-hmm. Wasn't me. That Shaggy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought you went from Scooby Doo. Yeah, right. Well, you know, the dog made an appearance. Um, so how's everyone doing? We didn't have a show in uh, the past two weeks. Has it it's been, been two a weeks while. already? Yeah, it's been oh, a while. Geez. Two weeks? I thought we did one the week before, no? No. Mm. I forgot what happened. Tim? Oh, we, we went and got these, the brewery. <laughs> Mike was busy. Oh, Mike was busy. I was busy. Tim is here. Play Mike. Hello. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming, my, uh, Tim. I'm glad that you're here. You know you're like an official, uh, you know... I have your mic stand. Oh, you do? I was wondering, what's high. going on with this thing? <laughs> I didn't know the difference. Oh, no, that's fine. Tim's fired. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. It's no, the no, first no. time I didn't get fired tonight. <laughs> no, you got fired earlier, remember? No, I was here. On time? Well, kind of on time. Yeah. <laughs> More on time than Mike. So we're, yeah. We are going to have a, a longer podcast tonight. Got a lot to talk about. Um... Mike, don't kick me off the air. And we're done. Yep. Last, I think it was last time that um, um, Mike kicked us off. Hey, that's making noise. Go. <laughs> Go over. Go. Go. Dog's tail hitting the table. I lost my shoe. <laughs> shit, shit is hitting the fan. What is going on? She just really wants to cuddle. Yeah. That's... Um, so, yeah. So, uh, a lot of stuff has happened in the, the past two weeks. And it's and it's been a while. We are drinking Manhattans, smoked Manhattans. Um, fancy, fancy. Yeah, you, you know cherry wood. <laughs> you gonna light your bike on fire? Like I, know, I, <laughs> I just I, I want them to smoke hear mics. It. Watch this. Can you hear that? Because I can barely. Yeah. Um, so we're having Manhattans. Mike's got to take two shots today. I got a Heineken. Uh, vodka. If you gave away the Manhattans, you have to take two shots at least. Why two shots? You know, I, I made this guy Manhattan, and he gave it away. Yeah. Just yeah. threw it away. Yeah. He threw it on the ground and you said, know what? fuck I, this. I just can't, I can't do whiskey All right, like I, I used got, to. I got you. I got vodka. Make, I got vodka. Make him a vodka Manhattan. There you go. You want a vodka Manhattan? No. I'll smoke it, too. <laughs> no. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, yeah. You're getting way too excited about that. <laughs> So uh, let, let's let's talk about our, our. Should we go into the band first and then maybe do the, uh, you know, I mean, talking? If you have a quick story, well, it's a good no, time to talk I mean, about all this stuff now. There's I mean. a lot of time. Ta- uh, there's a lot of talkies, <laughs> you know. There's a lot of talkies. Um, <laughs> Matt, you had a story, didn't you? <laughs> first off, you want I, me to bring that story up? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was told I can't. <laughs> Two weeks ago, there was a tornado that hit down. And I was in the middle of the tornado. Where were you? If it's a tornado, in that means it's already on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, Mr. Physicist here with her pink. That would be a meteorologist. A meteorologist here. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Yeah, fuck him, Tim. Yeah, I'm a ologist of meteors. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I was riding through the tornado, and there's there was a bunch of shit flying through. All of a sudden, I was taking video of it, and I just seen a bunch of black stuff. Just swaying in the air. I thought they were a bunch of birds. And they weren't birds. It was just a bunch of debris, see? And I was taking video, and so was this other guy next to me. I was at the Walmart uh, picking up groceries. At the Walmart during a tornado. <laughs> That's, yeah. Well, I just got off work, and it's like right there, you know? So, um, so I was taking video, and then the guy was taking video, and then I noticed that it was getting closer. So then I looked to the side of me, and no one was there. Like, absolutely no one in the fucking parking lot. 
So I got in my car and started driving, and all of a sudden, wind. <laughs> you know, all I seen was just debris. How'd that go? <laughs> all I seen was debris, see? And then one side of my car lifted up like that. Not, not a lot, but it just went <laughs> like that. And I said, oh, my God. You know, I thought I was going to get taken away. Yeah. Uh, the tornado apparently didn't want me, though. It um, did not take me. So now I have a question. Yes, that was my first time in a tornado. And it's something I could talk about. Th- that wasn't you his know? question. No, that wasn't my question. How do you but know? Cause I can Are read you his, his little mind. puppet? I can read his mind. Oh. I'm, very, I'm very happy for it's your scary. achievement. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that did have to be very scary. Uh, yeah, it was. But it was also, you know, cool at the same time. So you're, you're in the parking lot, and you see it going crazy. You hear about tornadoes, and it, in the parking lot, it looked like there was going to be a tornado. So why did you decide to go driving as opposed to heading back to the Walmart? Uh, you mean, like, go inside Walmart? Yeah. Uh, so one of uh, a, a person I worked with did that and went into the Sam's Club. Sam's Club door opened shut like the wind blew it out and it hit her smack dab in the face. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I didn't I didn't want to get out of the car. I'm not going to get out of the car. You could own a Sam's Club then. I mean, she's not owning a Sam's she Club. She should. So no. <laughs> Call a lawyer. <laughs> that's an act of nature. Does she listen to the show? Probably not. <laughs> Call a lawyer. <laughs> But um, so you were afraid of the door hitting? Yeah, you? I wasn't gonna. Go, I wasn't gonna get out of my car. Oh, so you already you were already in your car, and you're like, you know what? I feel safer in here than. Oh yeah, oh, and okay. I started driving around, and I was like trying to like drive through like different things, like the whole Menards um, roof flew off. Oh there. seriously? Yeah, it all flew off, and then it started coming down the parking lot and coming towards me. Not the whole roof, obviously, but like different things, like metal pieces. No kidding. And I had to like swerve past everything. That is crazy. Yeah. I wonder how the Home Depot over there held up. Uh, I don't think it hit the Home Depot part. I remember one time being at that Home Depot and they thought there was going to be a tornado in the area. So they started shuffling everybody towards the back. And uh, there was still customers in the store who wanted to finish shopping. There was a lady who wanted to put in her kitchen order. And she was pissed that nobody was helping her. Well, of course, that's her kitchen order. <laughs> she needs her kitchen put together. Fuck the tornado. Apparently. Yep. Yeah, so that was my tornado story. That is also, crazy. In this past week, I met Ozzy Guillen. I've always wanted to meet him uh, since I was a little kid. I met him. And um, we went on vacation, me and Matt. Yep. Uh, we went to the Harley Davidson anniversary. We almost died going there. Yeah, tornado. Yeah. We almost didn't make it. No, not no, a tornado. No. A truck. <laughs> well, yeah, a truck with four by fours that were falling off. This is starting to be like Final Destination for oh, you. Oh, it was totally a Final Destination. Oh, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> we were like, "What the fuck is sliding down the road?" <laughs> yeah, thank God for the other rider because he pointed at them. Yeah, there was a couple of riders like a little bit farther in front of us, and he started pointing at them and swerved around them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, thank God for him. So, you know, we got there. It was an hour and 45-minute ride. Got there, uh, immediately went to Miller Brewing, you know, to do the little tour, which was very hot. It was it's very a, warm. It's a cool tour, though, isn't it? It was, it was cool, yeah. But I thought it would have been more of, like, the brewing process. It was just more of, like, the history of of it, but it was still cool. You well, I mean, it's got a big history. I mean, checked out the shut your fucking stuff. mouth when I'm talking. Why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I had enough of you. <laughs> I had to spend a whole weekend with you. <laughs> no, um, but I almost canceled coming they, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the caves, the caves are cool. Eh? The cave was pretty cool. You got to yeah, shut like, the fuck up again? No, 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 no. No, I don't fucking care. Mm-hmm. Oh, you used it wrong. You did it wrong. Come on. You should have done it when I tell the story. That's when you say that. You already told me. I the came story. up with a new invention. No, you didn't. Um, <laughs> I was taking a shit at one of the bars in Milwaukee, and I said, "Wouldn't it be nice 
If you had a pillow that fit in your pocket, right? And you could Just take let out. Him go with it. Yeah. You could take out, because many times Matt even said, man, I sure could, sure could use that pillow right now when we were at the fest. I said, ha ha, $300 for you, but I'm going to sell it for 25 So, But for me, it's 300 I was thinking something that could crinkle up, right, and you fold and put it in your pocket. And then when you let it go, you just <laughs> blow into it, but it's not like a balloon. Um, and it's waterproof. Uh, well, how did it go? And it went, <laughs> and I call it the crinkle, the crinkle pillow. And then when you want to deflate it, there's a little button, and you just go, <laughs> and then you fold it and put it in your pocket or your wallet, whatever you want to do. Anyway, trademark. It's already been. I, like that. I can already hear the so, theme song. So, so when you started off taking a shit in a bar, I thought you were going to go towards like portable bidets. No, oh. no, he wanted to. Uh, I, take wanted a to nap. I wanted to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> so the pillow is for the toilet. Yeah. Well, the pillow is for anywhere. But the idea came to him while he was in the toilet and wanted to take a nap at the toilet. <laughs> I was so tired. In a public bar. <laughs> and I said, "Wouldn't it be nice if I could just put a pillow on this wall right here?" That said, "Go fuck my mother." And just, you know, put it on there and lay and fall asleep while Matt sits out there. <laughs> I was sitting out there drinking my beer. Yeah. And then uh, me and Matt shared a hotel room. Uh, it, it was a full size uh, bed. Bed it's supposed to be a queen size bed. I think I think you were lying. No, it said queen size. I don't think so. It said queen size. Bed. I want proof. It was a full size. Psh. It was a full I'm size. See, I find you proof. Matt snores a lot. He snores very oh, loud. Fuck you. <laughs> so, so, so who was the Matt's big spoon? Matt's taking offense to this. How's what? Who was the big spoon? Or did you take turns? Um, no, <laughs> I. I think it was more or less just restricting from killing each other. <laughs> I separated us. I put a bunch of pillows in between us. Because um, he's, he's a little bitch. How long was it before Matt put all the pillows on the side of you guys? <laughs> Not long. <laughs> no, we really wanted to kill each other because we kept on waking each other up from snoring. <laughs> like the first night, I woke up. I, I swear to God, I woke up at the times he was snoring. He woke up at the times I was snoring. And I was literally thinking about taking the pillow and suffocating his fucking ass. You snore loud as fuck, motherfucker. You're loud. I have. I have. You know what? No, I just sounded like a nice, cool, quiet motorcycle. <laughs> It's like a little Harley in a distance. Yeah. <laughs> so I have video proof of this because I took video of it and I sent it to Michelle. And I said, listen to this motherfucker. And she said it sounded like a, she literally thought it was it was a motorcycle. Um, but in fact, it wasn't. It doesn't say anywhere whether or not it's queen size. I, can't I told you. <laughs> but it was queen size when I slayed. You sent it to me. You sent me the reservation first. Yeah, but. It said book this shit. <laughs> Did that really happen, though? Yes. <laughs> I don't think I don't think so. Here, Here's Matt snoring. a fucking sleeping demon. <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to start a lawnmower. <laughs> or a chainsaw. Satan <laughs> sleeping. I didn't record this motherfucker, but he was echoing through the goddamn room. Dude, and it was deep. And you also moan. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> what that got to do with me? I don't hear it. You were like snoring and going... Mm. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck is going on here? And I jerked off to it. I'm sure you did. <laughs> Shot a load in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, did that slow snoring down a little bit? <laughs> yeah, it sure did. But, you know, and then uh, we went to, we seen the Foo Fighters, Dave Grohl. First time uh, for Matt seeing him. Yep. What'd you think, Matt? Matt? It was amazing. I would yeah. definitely go see him again. Not this year, but again. <laughs> yeah. How come he's not here tonight? Uh, I don't know. He was busy. We tried. <laughs> How was uh, Josh Freeze? On drums. Awesome. Really good. Really fucking good. Motherfucker. I heard the best. I don't know who it came from because we were, we were drinking all day that day, but someone said that he is like a chameleon on the drums. Like he can I meld. told you that, but someone, was it you? someone told me that. Okay. Yeah. 
he can meld into, and, it, and that was the perfect words, because he can meld into any band. And then they were going through the bands that he uh, was in. Yeah. Like Nine Inch Nails. Yeah. They started playing the songs. Yeah. Like, oh, the Foo Fighters were playing the yeah. songs. Yeah. They oh, that's, said, that's this really motherfucker cool. was in Devo. But pretty much every, yeah, they did the Devo song. They did the, uh, the Nine, Nine Inch Nails, Nails song. Yeah, and like every song that came up, <laughs> Dave Grohl was like, I don't know the lyrics for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think he sang part of the lyrics for the Nine Inch Nails song. He did. He, yeah. did, he sang quite a bit, but actually. They, they, only, they, they only played like a verse, though, and they stopped. And then, uh, yeah, he also apparently recorded with Michael Bublé. Yeah, for his popular song, mm, mm-hmm. so they started playing that one. He's like, I don't know the fucking lyrics to this one. I sing it. <laughs> but some kid had a sign that said, "I know the Blue Blay lyrics." So he said, "This motherfucker knows the Blue Blay lyrics. Get him up here." So they brought the kid up there, and then he asked the kid, "He's like, so how long have you known the Blue Blay lyrics? So like, how do you you know?" And the kid's like, "I I've only known it for two days." He's like. You said you know it for, you know, let, well, let's see how you do. The kid did not know the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> not only that. And then they stopped him, and Dave Grohl's like, I thought you said you knew the lyrics. And he pulls his phone out. He's like, you can't look him up. That's not how this works. <laughs> he's like, he's like, get the fuck off my stage. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious, but he was cool with him. Like, he was joking around, but yeah. It was, hey, he dedicated it was my arrow to him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Cody Jinx uh, was, was amazing. <laughs> Uh, Joan Jett was she amazing. She did amazing, yeah. yeah. Still sounds like Joan Jett. What was that first? After she, all these years. She's been amazing Ghost, forever. Ghost Towns? Ghost Towns, yeah. They were pretty good, too. Yeah. 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 Uh, but it was, it was a cool event. It was set up very good. Uh, you know, a bunch of bikers. Holy shit, man. And it was awesome with the biking, parking. Cars, I heard it was a bitch. But bike and parking, yeah, they just cars had to park far as fuck away and walk. Or there was a couple shuttles, I guess, or like the ADA people had golf carts pick them up. Yeah, but yeah, bikes were like right there. <laughs> so did you guys take your bike or? Yeah, we oh, took yeah. bikes. Nice. Yeah. And drove them back drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's neither here nor there. Well, we stopped. I mean, we weren't drunk, but we weren't we drunk. Were, we, we were, were more like exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know. It was it was a good time. We had fun, and that was it. Yeah, well, it sounds like a great we vacation. Rode home, and very good vacation. Yeah, it, it was very suffer to sleep. Yeah, how was the ride up there? Like that's the ride up there wasn't bad. That is that the I mean, furthest the you've the done in one session? Uh, no, no, me neither. Well, oh, okay. Arizona, that was a three hundred mile. Yeah, he did a really long trek in Arizona. I've been to my brother's house in Indiana. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Is that mine? I throw. Yeah, that's yours. I'm just gonna take it in. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. The Arizona trip was definitely longer, but this was, you know, there were a couple scares, and I think I have PTSD still from the accident. Oh, for sure. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad Michelle said not to get a new helmet. Right, right. <laughs> and that wasn't even worrying me. It was just all the stop and go on on highways, like. You don't trust any of these motherfuckers. Like, oh yeah, and there were I mean, there were lots of people. Two ninety four is construction the whole way up. Yeah, yeah. There were lots of people that cut us off, and you know, on the way there, I led, and on the way back, he led, mm-hmm. and it was just like both there and back, people were just fucking cutting us off, not giving a fuck. Yeah, people are assholes. Now, we so, saw that one bike in Milwaukee get that got hit. Yeah, I, I, we don't know exactly what happened, but like apparently a bike and a car collided. Ooh. It was a like Dodge Challenger or something. It wasn't a bad the hit. The bike though. ripped the entire side view mirror off. Like the wires were hanging out and everything, but the bike never fell. The guy stopped in the middle of the road. His rider got off, and they were trying to figure out what to do and what happened. But it's just like scary seeing shit like that. Oh yeah. So yeah, whenever there was like dead stops, that's when I freaked out because we were going about seventy, eighty the whole way. Yeah. Um, but that's when I freaked out. You know, when you had those dead stops, because that's how I got in the accident. Going off into the exit, and there was a stalled, you know, car, and I had a dead stop. That's when I started freaking out a little bit. But, you know, I'm here. It was fun. It was a good time. Yeah. I would do it again. Yeah, I would do you again. All right, uh, Matt, <laughs> it was your turn tonight. Yep. I know we talked a long time, so let's uh, let's get into our band. <laughs> oh shit! I lost the page that I have for the band. <laughs> what do you need the page for? everything <laughs> uh the uh the song i found i actually heard it today a little earlier today on the radio um apparently came out about four weeks ago it was on the radio well 
the, we don't play. The, oh, okay. The, the radio. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> I got you. It was on this radio. Right. right. Um. Anyway, yeah the the song came on is pretty catchy. I mean, you could tell that they're, they're not like big name band, but they have been around since like 2016. I think it was. Okay. Um, this song came out about four weeks ago. Uh, the band's name is Geese, and the song is 2122. Here on the Chris Court Show. God of the sun, I'm ticking you down on the inside. When the cow yuga comes and closes my eyes, and we can die by the air crash. Sun and moon collide. We can make love in the end time. <laughs> Media of peace. I'm trying to find the downside. in my life looking for a place in my life and i'm looking for a place in my life and i'm looking for a place in my life baby I gotta say something. I gotta say something. That was my favorite band that you have brought. Fuck off. Oh. <laughs> no, that was fucking awesome. You liked it? That, that was, was really so the end of the year right there. That, that was, was really great. intense. Right. And I, I liked all of a sudden when that distortion just came in, just out of nowhere, 
And, uh, you know, at the end when it was getting crazy, I fucking like, loved it. Like the buildup reminded me of like Agony and Ecstasy. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I, I can see that. see that. Or Paranoia. Yeah. yeah. And I was wrong. I actually heard this yesterday, not today. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. No, but. that was that was that was definitely one of my favorites that you brought. No, I thought it was uh, interesting. I liked the way it was like, like it had a lot of build ups and stuff, but it was almost like bluesy at points too, and like bluesy and rock notes mixed in. It was pretty cool. I, I just thought it was something different. So yeah, they are from Brooklyn, New York. Okay, like I said, they've been around since twenty. Usually, you bring in the uh, UK bands. Yeah, so no, this, this one's from the US. American bands. Yep. What, um, so d- they have music on all platforms? Or? Yeah, they have music on all streaming platforms. You can find them on like iTunes, YouTube. And so they have a new Spotify. album coming out? or I don't know if there's a new album. I didn't look that far into it. Yeah. Have you listened to anything else by them? I have not. Oh. Go ahead, ask any more questions to show how unprepared I am? <laughs> what's, the, uh, what's the singer's name? I can find that for you because I got the page up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at he's sweating. I am sweating. What you want? <laughs> what what album was You're this? Asking me of? too many questions. I don't know if it's off an album. I couldn't find information on the actual like, it's song. Not. Other so than it's released. it's it just the a song single. they released, and that was it. It might be a. Single. They never had albums or anything. This is I don't their, know. Is there a band cam? Do they have a Facebook? This is their they first a, giddy up. They have a Facebook. They're they got Facebook. one song. It was just so amazing. They, they you know what? We can't do anything else. <laughs> do they have a MySpace? <laughs> Motherfuckers, I quit. <laughs> Well, we actually want to know this stuff. You know, it, it's a, it's a well, good. I didn't have time to look it up. No, no, I know. <laughs> we'll give you time. Go on their worry. webpage. Yeah. Why don't you go on their streams and see if they have any albums? Is that them? Or is, are you just looking at guys in cowboy hats? <laughs> this is them. <laughs> Why? What's funny about them? <laughs> He's looking. <laughs> Oh, that look- <laughs> That's awesome. I look over and Matt's just got a bunch of guys in cowboy hats on his phone. I'm like, what are you? Are you zoning out or is it's this the, the band? band's page, motherfucker? That, that is awesome. I would totally do that if I were in a band. I like them more. Yeah. That's just. <laughs> right. It's just, it's a ba- basically a picture, uh, picture of them in country hats or, you know, cowboy hats. Yeah. And there was one that said, <laughs> image not found. <laughs> Why did Basement ever do that, or Joe's mom, or um, they had they had white T-shirts and black slacks. <sighs> that so was your idea. Appears that this is off. That of was an album. not my yes. idea. <laughs> it's off an album called Three D Country. Okay, and that's coming out when? Uh, well, the song came out four weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. The album says it's out now. I don't know when it was released, Good. but it's out. Check it out yep. on all streaming maybe platforms. It's on the new releases. And oh, maybe it is. You never know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah. When that? Uh, when that? If she comes. You know, it's like Christmas. And, she always and you can find it does. at any of these pages. Well, they can't hear that. <laughs> they can't hear you showing me that. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they need to get their ears checked. <laughs> so it's on all streaming platforms. Yes. Just, uh, yeah. But very good, Matt. That was a very good choice and very good pick. Ooh, I like that. He's pointing to your cock. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm going to drink some more whiskey here. <laughs> Miranda Lambert. This is a whole fiasco, by the way. If you haven't heard it, Mike is running away. I just heard about it before I came here. Yeah? I Mar- did not hear about it. All right. Well, here you go. Well, you don't have Facebook. So I, I, no. no. Uh, so Miranda, that was a couple of years ago. That was. Facebook, that was way Facebook's years ago. Facebook's not popular anymore. Yeah. Well, whatever. Miranda Lambert stopped concert over a selfie. Oh, yeah. And fan who took photo responded, but uh, you know, so basically Wait, these girls. Did she stop? A can concert? you shut the fuck up? I'm while asking I'm talking? a question. <laughs> <laughs> Are you snorting over this? <laughs> what is happening to that? We should not have had these whiskey drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. No, or what did you want? I just want to know, like, was she taking the selfie? <laughs> no, the, the her fans were. And okay. they were in the VIP section taking selfies. And it was like right there, and it was a bright... And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you guys a question. They had flash know. on? It had a flash on. She was doing, she was doing a slow song. What Mike's taking a picture of Matt's crotch. I'm just trying to take a picture. Yeah. I mean, she you want to get it? You want to get... Uh, there, oh, there we go. Uh, go ahead. Go picture ahead of finish. Dick. Go ahead and finish here. Um, so she was doing her... Oh, we'll get a picture of Tim Judge. There we go. There we go. No, yeah, fuck me. 
Um, she was doing her song all night long, baby. Tin Man, and she pointed out two women saying these girls are worried about their selfie and not listening listening to the song. It's pissing me off a little bit. And uh, you know they yeah. she did that in the middle of the song. In the middle of the song. I mean, I can understand like the flash is annoying and stuff. She said, "We're here to hear some country music tonight. I'm singing country damn music. Shall we start again? Yeah." <laughs> Come on, everybody. We're all taking selfies now. <laughs> You're getting carried away over to whiskey. Um, but, you know, a lot of fans are in a disagreement with her. Um, and you could check out the photo if you want to check out. Uh, that the girl took? Yeah, the check out the. Uh, Is that the selfie? Check out the selfie there. But that's Miranda Lambert in the back. That's the girls um, taking the selfie. You can Google it if you want to see it. <laughs> they separated themselves. You can see Miranda Lambert in the back, right. too. Yeah. So, um, you know, the girl <laughs> responded to it. Um, um, I, I saying, mean, personally, if you're paying for VIP, you can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> okay, so I'm going <laughs> yeah, to... But I'm if, gonna, if you have a flash on and you're interrupting the artist, that's kind of fucked up. I'm going to ask a motherfucking question after this. Because I'm going to see... What you you interrupted me? <laughs> I'm um, going to fire myself. <laughs> <laughs> She so one of the girls that got scolded said uh, these girls are more interested in taking selfies and the, uh, then she said sit down. I thought I feel like I'm being back in school and me and my friends did something that annoyed the teacher and she scolded us so she told us to sit down. So everybody was having a great time. We would stand up and times would dance and it was great energy. But after that it happened just uh, it was not the same. So what would you guys do? What would you guys do in that situation? Would you as the VIP people or as, as the VIP Lambert? people <laughs> and you're taking selfies Pee-pee. of yourself? Well, would I would you be pissed? I wouldn't turn my flash on and be a douchebag. Yeah, I but, wouldn't be taking a picture in the first place. OK. I mean, I might but, take photos, but not with a flash on. You're at a concert. But I mean, you're at a con. I mean, you're a megastar. I mean, you should be used to flashes by now. That's also That's true. very true. <laughs> That's also yeah. very true. I mean, you got 20,000 people every night taking pictures of you. So. I don't I don't think her argument is with the flash though. I think her argument is, "Hey, I'm putting on a show for you and you're more interested in yourself right now." So, because I mean, you're she's in the you're selfie. being so self-involved, <laughs> you're you're kind of taking away from the show from the people around you. Miranda Lambert's in the selfie. She's like a hundred feet back, but right. she's in the selfie. But don't you think that if someone is paying that much, they could be fucking coloring a book? I mean, if Chris paid that much, he'd probably be jerking off over there. Yeah. No, no. If I was the artist on stage and somebody was, I don't care how much you paid for your ticket. If you're, if you're up front, if you're going to be that close then enjoy yourself. You came to have a good time and watch me shake my ass. You do that. You have no ass. Take pictures later. So I wouldn't. I've I've been working. Okay. (laughs) No, yeah. It's gotten more supple. So you're more on the. uh, It's like it's like a two by four with a knot in it now. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. He he. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Well, you've been working out, so it's yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. Uh, so you're more on the fan side, like, you know, enjoy the music. Oh, no, he's on the artist I'm, side. I'm on the artist side with all right, this. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, uh, the come and enjoy side. the show. This is what we're all here to do. Now, this is now what, some of these You want to take selfies, take selfies another time. Are you taking, like, the artist's viewpoint, but not necessarily what Miranda Lambert did? Cause she, what like, did you just say? Miranda Lambert. Uh, like, you gave me too much whiskey, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stop her. I probably wouldn't stop a song, but after the song, I'd call those people. I'd be like, hey, 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 motherfucker, what, what, what's so important down over there? You know, just call them out. Yeah, I mean, in the middle of a song, it's fine. Dave Grohl did that. He did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> well, that's because people were fighting. Yeah. He was like, we got a problem down here? What, what's going on? <laughs> and then he called security. He said, hey, hey they, he, you know what? This next song, we were going to do faster, but now it's going to be a slower and it's a fucking love song. Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> what song was that? I forget. I don't even remember. <laughs> it, but it was supposed to be. Oh, it was Big Me. Was it Big Me? Yeah. And he did it very, very slow. He's like, come on, let's all love each other. <laughs> but, you know, so you're more on the artist side. What do you think, man? Are you more on the artist side or the fan side? Let's just. I mean, at rip first I was thinking it's kind of a douchey thing to do to have like the flash and stuff going. But at the same time, Tim makes a good point. You're a megastar. 
You should be used to that bullshit. Yeah. Just ignore it. Go yeah. on with your show. And you're on the uh, 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 fan side. Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm I'm in between because um, I get it. You pay $800 sometimes at a concert. You could do whatever the fuck you want, okay? I get enjoying the show, but you paid $800. If you want to have some kind of fucking cheap shows, then, yeah, okay. You know, like artists like Astronautilus or Greaves or, you know, bands like that, I could see that. Yeah. But bands like Miranda Lambert. But, but most of those guys like, would actually make fun of it like as part of the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like Miranda Lambert's like a Vegas act right now. Yeah. That's what I think of it. But, you know, the song Tin Man meant a lot to her, I'm sure. Because it's a slower song. And I, How old I think is that it, song, though? 2016. So she's been singing it for a while. Yeah. That shouldn't affect her as far as like. Ah, that doesn't opinion. matter because there's a lot of songs yeah. that I sing. That I wrote that I don't remember the lyrics to. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you would say that. <laughs> but they still. Because I was going to call you up. Like, what are the lyrics? <laughs> it still gets me going. I feel used. Mike, you know those very well. Oh, yeah. The song that I wrote, I feel used. I can't do that song. No. Without fucking tearing up. Do you know that song, Tim? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's, I, I don't remember it. But. I, can't, I can't do that song without tearing up. And even when we were trying. To record it on our new album. Yeah. That never got recorded because of the mice. <laughs> um, I have four computers, by the way. Oh, good. Yeah, we should get one of them They're probably going. Windows 95. Oh, they oh, We need 98. <laughs> we, we have Windows 98. They, they might be upgradable. <laughs> we have XP. We have Millennium. Oh, you got Millennium? Yeah. You got oh, Vista? We'll a shot. Huh? You got Vista? <clears throat> we have, yep. I, we, we do. And we have, um, I have a bunch of games, too. SWAT, SWAT 1, SWAT 2, SWAT 3, SWAT Oh, do you four. have... Uh, Oregon Trail? Sim Park. Not Oregon Trail. Do you have got Windows computers, not Apple E2s. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. got Robbie the Robot? I do. Fuck off, Mike. I do have... It's actually at my house today. I'm going to get it. <laughs> yeah, it's actually there. Rob the Robot was a Nintendo game uh, robot that played with you. Because Matt was lonely. It was an accessory. Yeah. A peripheral. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Uh, Matt or Mike, do you have any news or? You know what? It's uh, it's it's been a very sad week. I don't know if anybody else has heard, uh, Mr. Tony Bennett. I did hear. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh oh. Hey guys, what new albums are coming out these days? <laughs> new releases. New releases. New album. New album. New album. I'm gonna piss my pants. I'm I'm seriously gonna piss my pants. I'm a little drunk though too, so all right, July 21st, coming out here. Uh, it is Friday, so these albums are ready out. Go check them out. Go support your local record store. They have albums coming out. And Andrew Bird, Outside Problems. We got Blur with the Ballad of Darren. Damn. Bruno Major, Columbo. Cutworms. Cutworms. Greta Van Fleet, Star Scratcher. Catcher. Guided by Voices, Welsh Pool, Phillies, Philly, Frillies, yep, there you go, Jabuki Young White, All Who Can't Hear Must Feel, Lori McKenna, 1988, Molly Tuttle and Golden Highway, City of Gold, MXPX, Oh, Find a Way Home, Nils Lofgren, Mountains, actually we played it, yeah, No Name, Sundial, Oscar Lang, look now. Oxbow loves holiday. And that is it for July 21st. <laughs> Go and check those albums out at your local record store. Uh, some highlights there are Blur and MXPX and, uh, you know, Nils Lufgren. We played Nils Lufgren. I think you brought him Not that long ago. It might have been the last podcast. Didn't you bring? Wasn't he an older Mike, guy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mike brought him. Isn't he, it a pity? The, oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, God. Damn. Yeah. The guy with the red trombone. Yeah. 
No, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm ta- go on with Tony Bennett. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got interrupted before the new releases. Yeah, yeah I'm no, sorry that's about as that. usual. You got interrupted. <laughs> that did not. <laughs> well, uh, Tony Bennett had just died. Uh, he. <laughs> no, I, I heard about it. I think. Why do you? I, actually, I heard about it today. I he died today. Earlier today. I didn't yeah. hear about it. Yeah. yeah, he died earlier today. Is it Tony Bennett or is it Tony Bennett? Tony Bennett. Bennett. Okay. Actually, it's. I, I thought you, that's a short oh, last name. Oh, nobody gives a fuck. Yeah, that's a short. That, that's not his real last name. <laughs> uh, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was actually at a job working on customer service, and the customer told me about this, and I was like, wait, what? And you told them you don't give a fuck, too? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't give a fuck. No, I, I was going to, but then he gave me tacos. <laughs> yeah. Born, uh, <laughs> born Anthony Dominic Benedetto. Benedetto. So he died at the age of 96. I, I don't see what he died of, but he's 96. I would assume old age. Yeah, he's 96. He probably died of life. <laughs> but he was still singing and playing piano. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, up until he died. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. He had, like, a song that just came out. Uh, not a song, but he just uh, played a song. And a his voice weeks. was great still. Yeah. It was absolutely amazing. Well, he did that song with Lady Gaga. Yes. He which had a was whole, really good. He had a whole um, concert series he did with her. Yeah. 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 So there was a, a piano, and it was very jazzy, and it was beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Dead. At 97? Dead, dead, dead ski. 96. 96. 96. Oh, he lived a long life. The old 96-er. Um, you know where I don't give a fuck comes from? Me and me and Matt, it was kind of a thing. <laughs> you know? in, Mina, uh, in Minnesota? Milwaukee? Minnesota. Milwaukee. Minnesota, eh? So what happened was, I forget, you're in that beach bar, remember we video chatted you? Yeah. Yeah, we were at the, uh, we were at the, the, the angry chick in the, the back. What? I didn't get video chatted. Well, that's because it was Friday My night. My phone died. And we were going <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs> I'll put the blame on you. <laughs> First off, your phone didn't die. It died at that, some point. That wasn't that night. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Tim it, doesn't know that. <laughs> it was podcast night, and we told Mike to be up there or he's going to be late. <laughs> so we video chatted him, and I forgot where it came from now that I think about it. Where we, did it? We were, oh, it was. We were talking to the bartender, and he started talking about how the previous Harley Davidson homecoming had Elton John headlining it. And he's like, right. you really need to know your crowd because Elton John's not the best headliner for bikers. Right? That's what he started talking. Then some kid at the bar started talking about, like, no, I think he did a great job, blah, blah, blah. Chris was just like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. We walked out of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> So it was like an ongoing thing, like, you know, like Matt would say something and I'm like, yeah, I don't give a fuck, you know, talking about something or other. I got you back a couple times. You did, yeah. Oh. Uh, Jason Aldean is under a lot of controversy right now. You know who Jason Aldean is? Well, he's a pop country singer. Oh, boy. He has a song called Try That in a Small Town. It became a political controversy and it... Um, the the uh, music video is what really did it. After critics of the video said it contained lyrics that glorified gun violence and conveyed traditionally racist ideas. So, um, basically the song... So, what Jason Aldean is, well, before oh, we get well, into this... What was the problem with the song again? It, con- it conveyed what? <laughs> it, well, it, the video. They the, said the video... Uh, the video said it contained... Lyrics that glorified gun violence and conveyed tr- traditional racist ideas, like cotton picking and stuff like that. What, I'm what, what about half the rap I hear on radio nowadays? Mm. It's all gun violence and yeah, racist but those, ideas. Yeah, but, but those are those but, are black folks. Yeah, so. but it's, it's, it's written by black folks. So, but this is a white guy. What are you trying to say, Mike? I, I was just, I was no. Just, go ahead. I was just go saying, ahead. like, there's a whole lot of like. Get rap. on your soapbox. There's there's I'm a whole lot it. of rap out there that glorifies gun violence and drugs and there, treating women like crap. There's and, also a lot out there about what has pussy. <laughs> right. <laughs> so Jason Aldean uh, went on to Twitter and says this: In the past 24 hours, I have been accused of releasing a pro lynching song, a song that may have been out since May and was subject to the comparison that I. Direct quote, was not too pleased with the nationwide Black Lives Matter protests. These references are not only meritless, but dangerous. There's not a single lyric in the song that reference race or points to it. And there isn't a single video clip that isn't real news footage. And while I could try and respect others to have their own interpretation of a song with music, this one goes 
too far. But he didn't say that he agreed nor disagreed with the Black Lives Matter <laughs> movement. <laughs> that is true. Although, <laughs> although I don't agree with it, this song in particular wasn't uh, for it. You know, I, I have another song that talks about it, but we didn't publish that one. What <laughs> happened to freedom of speech, though? Well, I, he has the freedom of speech. He he can put that out there, and people no, no. have the freedom to disagree with you him. You can be as free as you want and as racist as you want when you speak. <laughs> Do you but know? you'll get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> this just came out to my mind when you were talking about freedom of speech. I peed my pants during Foo Fighters. Oh, I know you did. Did I tell you that? Uh, 100% I know you did. <laughs> yeah, There's I, multiple reasons why I know you did. <laughs> I didn't want to leave our spot. We were pretty close. We were right by that speaker, and I was telling myself, I cannot leave right now. I'm going to pee my pants. So I started peeing my pants. And um, when he says pretty close, you couldn't hit Dave Grohl the football if you tried. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think Tom Brady could have hit Dave Grohl the football if he tried. <laughs> but I got us near the speaker. Well, we were in front of a speaker stack, and it sounded perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I peed my pants. Anyway, I peed my pants, and then I told, and then I was thinking to myself, this is fucking disgusting. And so I told Matt, I'll be right back. I gotta go pee. And <laughs> didn't you already pee? Not all of it. I stopped okay. it. Um, yeah, I stopped my urethra. Um, so men have urethras, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I had a shirt that uh, I had tied to my <laughs> pant man. leg, and I tied it to the other leg because you could totally see it like when i looked down i was like so, so his, <laughs> he peed all over his brand new 45 dollar shirt is what he's selling us I, it was like billy madison i looked down and i was like Goo! <laughs> and i asked the security guard i said where's the closest bathroom <laughs> and she looked down and we both went Goo! no but um i i tied i tied that motherfucker around so she wouldn't see but i thought i thought that was like the fucking most intelligent thing to pee your pants during that time i said why doesn't he, everyone he do didn't want to walk away no he wanted to watch the show he can't walk away and it was like the last like what maybe three or four songs yeah oh. was, well yeah what, no, wait a minute was what, it? what happened to peeing yeah. in a well, bottle maybe it was like the last like five or six songs but it was I somewhere mean, it was of well, a can what happened to peeing in a can i didn't have a can it would cut my dick well at one point he told me he had to pee really bad i said just go but I meant like take it <laughs> out and be on the ground. Well, yeah, I, how many, I took that literally. How many times were we at a concert and I'm just like standing next to you and I look over and you're just whizzing and it's just getting all over the people because we're on a hill. It's just going downhill on all the other people. I meant just he's be matured, on the ground. Like, he's I, matured. I, I, I have matured. Meant whip it out and be on the ground. That's what I meant. But he apparently thought I meant pee your pants. Just go, man. Just go. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't do that no more. That's for the uh, younger Chris. Now I piss my pants. <laughs> that's that's the way I do it. So anyway, I peed my pants because I didn't want to miss Foo Fighters. So sue me. But you still walked away to pee or, anyway. Or I did. Here's an idea: you could have tied the shirt around you and then used that as a cover up and just kind of peed under the shirt. That's what I did when I peed. But then I said, "This is fucking disgusting," because I knew I had to ride my bike later, uh, and no, I didn't no, know. He how was talking about like take it out. But like cover yourself with the shirt and pee. Yeah. I see what you're pee saying. Pee under the shirt, the shirt yeah. but out of the pants. It'd be like a, a I was, closed I was a little, sandwich. I was a little drunk. He would have totally peed on the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> you can carry a, a shirt. But I don't think there's anything. I hear a lot of stories that people piss themselves because they don't want to move during a concert. It's okay. You could piss yourself. I. This is That's my message. That's my message. You said something about free, and that's what I thought. You heard it here first. Anyway, do you guys know who Jason Isbell is? What? Not sure. Isabel. So he's a uh, like a kind of a country guy, but he said to uh, he said about Jason Aldean, well, next time you want to you know talk about a small town, write a single yourself and make sure you write it. That's what we try in my small town. I didn't say that right now, so. Falling in reverse. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> those those were strong. Whatever they's made. <laughs> Falling in reverse singer calls rock fest crowd. He calls them boring as hell. And he said that to, to them out loud. And then fans hit back. 
Maybe you need to bring your game up and learn to put a show on instead of being a little diva. So I comes mean, that picture of me looks like a little bitch. Are you okay, Mike? Yeah, there's a guy peeling up, heading towards this way. Oh, is he? Or maybe it's just a crappy sound of his car. Might just be a crappy sound of his car. Yeah, it sounds like his crap is on a big car. That sounds, sounds wrong with his car. <laughs> what, what would that even be? That's is he? A, on, it's it, not a belt. Is it? I don't even know. Did he leave it's his like, parking brake on? It sounds on? like a dying dove. It's like he, <laughs> that. That's a possibility. Maybe that could be it. His you parking brake. Parking brake. <laughs> He's like, why is my car not going fast? <laughs> uh, so. So, yeah, so uh, you know who falling in reverse is? Yeah, I okay, don't. Me neither. <laughs> um, but he called his, uh, and this is what I wanted to talk about. He called his uh, crowd boring as hell, and he went on Twitter after his concert and said, fans are always allowed to criticize bands, their music and performance. It's time for bands to criticize crowds. Yeah. Wisconsin, you were boring as hell. Fuck yeah. LOL. <laughs> what are some cities? Wait, wait. What concert was he in Wisconsin? <laughs> Uh, this was before us, like before we were born. Was this? Oh, this what was before we were what? born. No, <laughs> was it at Summerfest? Maybe, maybe, or maybe they were on the Friday show. So, I mean, basically, he's saying they yeah. weren't washing hard enough. Probably, yeah. But he said, "What are some cities you band dudes hate playing? Because you know the crowds are lame." All the audience hit back at him. So my question to you guys is, um, do you think he's allowed to say this? Yes. I mean, yes. yeah, he's allowed to. Well, I, I mean, without getting any kind of backlash. I mean, that depends on the crowd. You can't say anything without getting backlash. That's true. That's true. So... Like if I say Chris Cord is gay, no. then you're going to fuck me. That's backlash. Yeah. <laughs> so if there is a... If you guys are playing... Uh, I mean, we've all been in a band. If you guys are playing in a, in a show and, a, and the art... Or, the crowd is boring. Would you actually go out and say you guys were fucking boring? Well, all of our crowds are boring. Except that's for true. That's very Tom. true. That's for yeah, Jess. Jess bored the crowd. Crowd a lot. No, it's the Tom. it was well, Tom. Fest. I mean, Tom was our biggest Rock fan. Fest? Rock yeah. Fest. Well, Tom. Tom actually danced. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, he actually one. got out there and danced and moshed. And was it Rock Fest? Rock Fest. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think you might have said that when you wrote this. <laughs> I probably did. I don't remember <laughs> anything right now. <laughs> you gonna make some more bad ads? A little tipsy. <laughs> um. Yeah. So there's uh, that. I mean, I don't think it's a problem that he said it, but at the same time, like, if you think the crowd's boring, maybe you should try to do more to get them excited. Well, that's what pan- fans are saying. Yeah. But also, I mean, we're too old to mosh. <laughs> well, hey, he, I am, he's I am. not. Hey, <laughs> he hurts. Just, he hurts his foot and then limps for three weeks. <laughs> I'm still limping. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I think Four he, weeks. he's got that metal fest. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he's got a point though, because you got fucking Miranda Lambert calling out fans for fucking selfies. Yeah, and you can't really mosh anymore. Not like you used to. Yeah. Hold on, train. I hear the train a coming. They're rolling, rolling around, around the bend. bend. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know, know when. when I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. All right, we're going to get sued for copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. <laughs> no, so that, you, that, that, you I'm, know what? I'm used to it. You know, things just cutting in whenever I'm talking. He it's actually fine. went on and said, you guys are lazy pieces of shit, and yeah. you guys are a boring crowd. Yeah. You know what song you did next? A cover of All Star by Smash. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's the way to do it. No, they should have the Rick rolled them. Right. I, I, I guarantee you that would have got the crowd going. Yeah. Not fucking All Star. Um, I think that was for the crowd. I why, think that was their would, penance. Yeah. Why would they cover Smash Mouth? I don't. I don't know who's falling in reverse. <laughs> Are they well, Mike? You said you heard of them. Are they uh, like a hard rock? Yeah, yeah, hard rock. Lots of screaming. Yep. Oh, really? Are they like yeah. a screamo just, band? Listen. Like metal screamo? No, I wouldn't call them screamo. Just no. hard rock with extra screaming. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But all star. <laughs> I, I think it was more just a. I think off they were the crowd. fucking with them. Yeah. Yeah. I like how they but, knew it. But though. apparently yeah. they knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. 
I actually listened to one of their albums th- today. Falling Down? Oh, I thought Falling you were going to say Smash yeah. Mouth. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Falling Reverse. It was good. It was good. And it's a, a screamo music. No, it's not screamo. Oh, it's, it's, not. it's hard rock with some screaming in it. Yeah. So is it actually good? Yeah, it's not bad. Okay. Why is it with screamo? Because I saw a picture of him, and he kind of looked like he might be a screamo. Yeah, he looks like a screamo guy. Well, he, it's, it's not a tattoo. It, it's literally a sleeve. It's just a solid black sleeve. It's a permanent shirt. Doesn't that what uh, My Chemical Romance guy has? Or? No, I think he's actually got drawings. This is literally just solid black. All black. Yeah. Wow. Does he just like dip his arm in black for like three weeks? Well, uh, <laughs> probably a cover up. Oh, oh yeah. That's of a girlfriends. lot of cover up. All those girlfriends. <laughs> they got they got white tattoo ink. There's Nina there. Miranda. Yeah, but white doesn't <laughs> last long. On uh, if you put it on a black tattoo, it probably would last a little that's while. That's so racist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, apparently I'm canceled Canceled Alright so uh, I got a map here And it's about letting uh, Comparing penis sizes around the world Those are cucumbers Yep So what size do you think you are Mike Me? Have you ever measured your dick uh, I'm last he's, he's gonna lie to you We've all measured our dicks Come on <laughs> so I was gonna say Last time measured Was probably in high school Yeah but we've all <laughs> done it At some point Right What were you then I don't remember Yeah He don't wanna say no, I don't okay. remember <laughs> Tim do you ever measure your penis yeah, It's been a while Yeah Matt Oh for sure all the time. <laughs> Daily. <laughs> <laughs> He's Does got an Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pie graphs and everything. It's like on the wall. He yeah. notches it. It's shrinking every day. <laughs> so what's your size? I'm not going to say my size on the air. Why? What the? What's the girth? <laughs> Circumference, if you will. It's like a one quart paint can. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta hurt. You must be dreaming, brother. <laughs> you must be dreaming, brother. <laughs> so, United it, States. It's only about an inch and a half long, but it's about <laughs> six inches wide. <laughs> United States is 60th on the table. So, we don't have big penises. Uh, with the erect length of. So, South Park was wrong, is what you're saying. <laughs> well, yeah. With the erect length of 5.35 inches. Oh, wow. Yeah. That seems kind of short. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can kind of guess what Chris's size is. <laughs> we all know what Chris's size is. He needs to get a short. <laughs> Why don't you pull your dick out and we'll measure it right now, fucker. Get your tape measure. You got the Milwaukee one? <laughs> I do. It's magnetic. Yeah, the one you can extend really, really far without it going conk. <laughs> well, going left. Uh, the United, United Kingdom came in at 68. Oh. 5.17 inches Ooh. of penises. All that T. Yeah, so, <laughs> well, that's shorter. It was yeah. shorter than us. <laughs> yeah, all that T. Because caffeine is shrinking everything. All right, so equator. Equator? Uh, Ecuador? Equi- Ecuador. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is happening? And us Americans is smart, too. <laughs> <laughs> we learned it. <laughs> I also got to do the math here because they got this shit. In <laughs> There's division involved. They got this shit in centimeters. You don't know what to do now. <laughs> yeah, what do you do with it? What is it? <laughs> tell me. Tell me, motherfucker. 2.5. What is 17.61 centimeters in inches? Divided by 2.15. All right. Uh, Mike's pulling the calculator there we, go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Hold oh, on. Uh, he's, seven, he's wait, still 17 what? The app. Hold on. Divided by 17.61 in inches. It's 6.93. Okay, there you go. 6.93. How do you the say they're fuck? Ecuador? Ecuador. Ecuador. They have the biggest penises ever to exist. That's pretty big. Thank you. That's I, huge. I didn't know you were from the equator. So what you're saying is I should move to Ecuador. <laughs> <laughs> they don't allow you there. <laughs> Um, so then it goes Cameroon, Bolivia, Sudan, no, wait, wait. Where's Haiti. The, where's the smallest penis? Haiti? Yeah. Haiti. Haiti. Got, you, I can. Im- so small. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see who has the smallest penis. I, was, I would imagine. He's got big penises. <laughs> right. Yeah. I would imagine uh, somewhere in Asia. That's it's, racist. It's the T. <laughs> it, that's racist as so. hell. <laughs> Let's see. Let me just scroll down here. They don't drink tea in Haiti. 
Uh, Cambo- or equator. Cambodia. Cambodia has the smallest. Wait, am I reading this right? Where's America? What are we doing over here? All right, so. <laughs> I heard pictures of penis. Oh, here's the screen. United States of America. Okay. We're at 7.68%. Okay. Japan's right after us. And then Greece is right after us. We have bigger penises than George. Oh, I didn't expect that. Um, Cambodia has the smallest penises. I'm moving to Cam- Cambodia. Ten point oh four centimeters. So how? What? what? What's that? That is three point nine five. <laughs> it's Damn. all that malnutrition. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look like a fucking monster if I move to Cambodia. <laughs> I still wouldn't. <laughs> And then right before that is Philippines. Chris got sad. He's like, I don't even make it to this chart. <laughs> that motherfucker is sticking in my fucking. It's like an, it's like an itty belly button. <laughs> Iran is there, though. Thailand, Hong Kong. They have small peenies. China is there. China. Let's. Okay. So 13.07 centimeters. Oh. So what would that be? Is that more than the U.S.? No. No, that's less. That's way less. That's like four inches. That's 5.14 inches. So it's actually not much smaller than the U.S. Not much smaller, though. So, yeah, it's right after uh, United uh, Britain. Yeah. (laughs) Why are we talking about this again? (laughs) I just wanted to know about penis size. This is <laughs> there's been a lot of penis talk on this show between the urination. Apparently, yeah. Yeah, urination and the, the full size bed in the hotel room. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've seen my penis many a times. Oh, way too many times. Yeah. Love it. Not really. <laughs> all right. That is all we have for the show tonight. Thank you guys for listening. We will be back next week, hopefully, if uh, you know, someone doesn't call off or late. Um, thank you guys. Uh, yeah, so look up those penis sizes. Measure your penis. Tell us what your size penis is. Make sure you block the tape measure so it doesn't snap you in the balls. That's right. <laughs> and yeah. if you're a woman, tell us what penis size you like. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like Probably not Cambodia. <laughs> Matt, you measured your penis. What size is it, actually? <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Did, no, come on. Come on. You measure yours. What size is yours? I'll measure it out right now. What size is yours? Uh, that young once again thank you for listening to the Chris Court Show remember if you have a band or business or know someone that has a band or business send all the info and mp3s to chriscourtshow at gmail.com chicken nuggets and cranberry sauce the Chris Court Show